Hi, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete a existing virtual disk RAID array and then also recreate a virtual disk RAID array. So I am in the Dell Open Manage Server Administrator, and you'll notice here I, uh, I have this test RAID configuration. And if I click into it, but you'll notice that the total gigabytes is 2.2 terabytes. If I click into it, you'll notice it consists of five disks. So if I go on the actual server itself, this is the disk that you see. So this is the disk that I will be deleting. So I'm simply going to go back to the previous page where they list the RAID arrays and I am gonna choose delete. Now this might seem like a trivial thing, but if you've never seen it and you have any doubts of how it works, uh, this might be helpful. So I am choosing delete and then I am gonna click execute. And then it says here, the warning, all data will be lost. Please make sure that the virtual disk does not contain your boot device. <laughs> all right, so I know that does not contain the boot device. And I am going to delete it. Now, um, it's in the process of getting deleted. If I go back to the virtual disk itself, so it is busy and it's uh, doing something. And you'll notice when it goes back to this particular screen, uh, the fourth disk is actually missing. So if I go back to the um, computer management on my Windows, you'll notice it just disappeared. There's no 2.2 terabytes anymore. And um, if I go back to this disk, uh, there's no E drive anymore. So it's confirmed to be deleted. Now I am going to recreate it. So to recreate it under the left hand side tree menu once again go to virtual disk up at the top there's gonna be a go to create virtual disk wizard i'm gonna choose that and for whatever reason i always choose advanced so i am choosing advanced and i am picking my raid 5. so if you need help with uh you know choosing your raid calculator raid cal you could you could calculate the calculator. You could go to RAID calculator, and this is very helpful. So I am gonna create a RAID array uh, for disk, and it's all gonna be 600 gigs each. I'm gonna choose RAID 5 parity, and I could go calculate that it's gonna be 1.8 terabytes, and I'm gonna get 3x read speed and no gain in write speed and that the full tolerance is going to be one failed drive. So I lose my uh, extra storage there. So basically I'll have three, three disks of storage using four disk, uh, four disk array. So I am going to choose RAID 5 here. I'm going to click continue. And now I could choose the particular disk. So I am going to go ahead and choose 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm gonna click next and I could name it. So I'm gonna name it test array. And you'll notice here, it tells me what the size is. I could actually set a particular size, but I'm just gonna use the default. So it shows me the physical disk that I've selected and that they were the 600 gigabytes. And then the policy for the read ahead, write back, and the disk caching. And if I scroll down, I could actually select a spare if I wanted to, a hot spare. I'm not gonna choose a hot spare. Now, if you remember here, my actual RAID array disk was 12, 13, 14, 15, so I could choose a hot spare from any of these. I'm not gonna choose a hot spare. I could do that later, and I'll show you that how to do that later, and I'm gonna click finish and when I click finish it's going to take some a uh, few minutes to initialize so this is actually going to bring me back to the virtual disk screen after 
it's done. So you notice here it's actually ready now. Now, if I wanted to assign a particular dedicated hot spare, I could go back here and I could say dedicated hot spare, execute. If I didn't choose a hot spare before and I changed my mind, now if I choose execute, now I could choose the particular uh, disk. So it's a little bit slow right now. So it goes into the screen and I could choose this as the hot spare and then I'll click apply. Now I'm not gonna choose a hot spare, but that's how you would do it. Now if I go back to the server here, you'll notice the disk three appears and now I have to initialize it. It was 1.6 unallocated. Now I have to un initialize the disk. I'll initialize it as GPT. And then I could create a volume. And I'll just use the defaults here really quick and make that the E drive. And that's it. You know, it'll show up now as the E drive here with 1.6 terabytes. So that's how you would do it using the perk uh, RAID array within the Dell Open Managed Server Administrator. And I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.